We may be heading into a new concerning phase of the pandemic. Cases of the so-called Omicron variant already recorded in at least eight countries, the latest Australia. Many health officials fear it could be even more contagious than Delta with a better ability to beat existing vaccines, but they caution more study is needed. Many countries already tightening COVID restrictions, notably Israel announcing plans to close its borders to foreign nationals for two weeks. The UK tightening rules on testing of international arrivals. And just hours from now, President Biden's new restrictions on travelers from southern African nations will go into effect. It will limit travel from South Africa and seven other countries. The makers of the Pfizer vaccine say that they can create a tailor-made vaccine in 100 days to counter the new Omicron variant. And Moderna says it's already working on a booster for it. So for the latest on the situation, let's go to ABC's Elwin Lopez at the airport in Atlanta. Elwin, good morning to you. Hey, well, good morning. This is one of the world's busiest airports and that new highly mutated variant is set to shut down travel into the U.S. from several countries starting tomorrow. Around the world this morning, nations taking swift action to stem the spread of the Omicron variant. The U.S. now just hours away from closing its borders to people coming from several African countries. As the president has said, we're going to take every precaution, and so that's why we've taken the measures we have. It hits at a time when cases and hospitalizations in the U.S. are on the rise. A new variant thrown into the mix is exactly what we don't want at this time. Hoping to avoid even more of a surge, on Monday, President Biden is sealing off entry into the U.S. from South Africa and seven other nations. This is health officials dubbed that new variant, Omicron, as one of concern. South Africa releasing a statement slamming the travel restrictions, saying it's akin to punishing the country for its ability to detect new variants quicker. Israel now also announcing it will shut down to foreign travelers for two weeks after at least one case of that new variant was detected. The UK, Australia, Germany, Italy and the Czech Republic also part of the growing list of nations with confirmed cases. And this morning in the Netherlands, 61 people are under quarantine after arriving from South Africa and testing positive for COVID-19. 13 of those cases now confirmed to be the Omicron variant. Was it really smart to visit family in South Africa? Um, yeah, well, you never know. But it's a weird and a little scary idea that you've been in a plane with a lot of people who were tested positive. The UK taking new precautions with the possible threat Omicron poses, requiring face coverings on public transportation and in shops. And while the heavily mutated virus has yet to be detected in the U.S., many health officials say they would not be surprised if it was already here. There is reason to be somewhat concerned with new variants emerging, but we have to remember it is way too early to press the panic button. And the fallout goes far beyond public health. Wall Street taking a hit, the Dow plunging more than 900 points, a lot of uncertainty going into tomorrow's opening bell. Wet. Yeah, we're seeing that ripple effect, Elwin. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.